Hello people, welcome to the Duck Farms Academy. My name is Kennedy, a Ghanaian poultry farmer and also a US Navy veteran. Thank you so much for being part of this family and us building this family together. I really appreciate your time and how the pages or the our family is improving and going up. Yes, it's, it's very, very, very great. And thank you so much for the support and everything. Today, you no, know, maybe some people are also in the diaspora. Some people are also in maybe Africa, part of the, in the African countries. And you are deciding, I want to go back. I want to go into Ghana to start a, 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 to start farming, whether crop farming, whether animal farming, any kind of farming that you want to go to. There is a very good. There, there is a place that when you go, the farming you're going to do is very important. So, if you're going to buy land in Ghana, where do you need to buy that kind of land? That's what I'm here to talk to you about. So, there are many places that in Ghana right now, if you want to buy land to start some projects, if you want to buy a real estate land, there are some places I don't want to encourage you. As a bit from business uh, perspective or from business point of view, I will encourage you to go there. And for agri, there is other places uh, there are other places I, I will not encourage you to go there too. So let's start my five best regions to start to go into farming. Where if you want to go into farming or if you want to go into farm any kind of farming that you want to go into, five best regions to look into. One is Eastern region. Two is Bono region. Three is Half region. Four is a Bono East region, and five is Ashanti region. So let's go into it. If I'm going to buy land from these locations, I want to tell you what are uh, what is your best things to do over there. One, if you want to go into a let's say either poultry farming, whether crop farming, any kind of farming, maize farming, let's consider one eastern region. If you want to go into eastern region, if you want to buy land is in eastern region for farming, what are the good things you need to do there? One. Eastern region is good for poultry and fish farming. Be and also western region, uh, closer to the western region. Because of the water bodies around that area, is very good for fish farming. And because of the land nature, also poultry is good, a good for that area too. I'm not saying the, the, the cities of the eastern region, no. Ask it where the, you know it's for farming. It's very good for fish farming and poultry farming. It's very very nice area. So people who are always there doing poultry for uh, doing fish farming and poultry farming really expand. They are very good because of the nature of the rivers at, along that area. So if you're looking into buying land for fish farming, especially fish farming and poultry, Eastern Region is one of them. Look into Eastern Region. Now let's come to Ashanti Region. I'm not talking about the inside Kumasi area. That place you need for real estate. So let's talk about the Bekwai the uh, the Bekwa area, the Mampon area, the Ebisu area, the Konongosai area is also good for uh, good for pottery. Very very good areas for pottery. And also one advantage that you may have is that there are more pottery farms or there, there are more businesses around that area that are into pottery and that are into pig farming too in around that area, so that you may have that kind of people to help you. I'm not saying you can't do any kind of farming over there. No. But I'm telling you, your business point of advantage, things that the location will help you to increase. So if you want to buy land and you want to go into pig farming, uh, poultry farming, then Ashanti region, Mampon area, Egeso, Bekwai, that, uh, that area, is, uh, 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 what is the name? Uh, that area is for you. Go in there and get the land for that sector. Now, let's go to the Bono East area. That is the Kentampo Techimen area. Very nice area to buy land for farming. Very nice. Land is also a very cheap area over there. Uh, that, uh, what is the name? That Kentampo, uh, Kentampo Techimen uh, Tebubu area. That is also nice. But if you're going into farming, I will also encourage going into maize plantation. Especially if you want to go into crop plantation, that is the best thing for you. Why? Because the land over there is very fertile for maize, for crop farming, 
all that is for soya uh, for uh, yes for soya also to the northern sector is very good over there so all from the northern uh, from boom east to the northern sector is good for crop farming so if you want to buy land and you want to go into like maize you want to go into soya you want to go to, into uh, i want to plant like sorghum i want then for cut that area more that is what is better for you now let's combine the bono east and the bono uh, the the, the half and the bono together now let's come to the bono side which is the domain sunyani drobo that area too is very good if you want to go into farming and you want to get a land over there it's very good for pottery that's one of their best side too that is their strongest one pottery and also into a uh, cash crops like a uh, what is the name cashew like that's where the sampa area all that and so cashew and poultry that is very good for you to and cocoa very good side over there too so if you want to go into poultry and all that side doma area very good into poultry and you get people around that area into poultry to help you get knowledge very fast and very quick quicker i don't mean that even if you say doma the doma town the surroundings of doma and the surroundings of maybe Drobo and the surroundings of Sunyane, that and Brekum, uh, that area, that they are very good too. Now, let's go to the uh, where to buy land when you're buying land in a half area. What do you need? One thing about a half area is very good for land, but one thing that will really help you is using it for a uh, food stuff like a plantain, cassava. That kind of food crops is very very good over there i'm not saying you cannot use it for poultry or fish farming or anything over there but if you really want to go into let's say establishing uh all these kind of daily daily food crops like like cassava plantain that kind of stuff then people look into that area they are very good over there that's why somebody said gospel board yeah they, they are part of them other than uh, that people because their land is very fertile cocoa very nice area too so somebody may ask so ken how do i get land in these areas people one talk to somebody in the town get a chief involved and go out there get a chief involved don't just go to somebody individually because every town or every really every region in ghana has a way of selling their land and even every town some people is through individual some people too is through the community uh, the, 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 what is the name the assembly the assembly people in the, the assembly committee or the committee in the town others too is through uh, the, the chief things that the chief that you have to go through so get people involved and you can get your land people what is the next one as soon as you get a land get a document how do you get a document i've gone through all that that's i'm able to help you get a document go to court and let them put a legal document on it that is where you get a legal document so go to court and let the person who sold the land to you sign and you also sign if we sign that that is not a lease let me take it again that is not a lease though don't, don't, don't tell yourself if i sign the thing in court that is it no you have to go to the the chief of the town before you can get a real lease a lease of ghana like you own the land for some because land is not uh, if you buy a land it's not for yours forever no there is time limit on it but for the chief to uh, make it a very good lease for you then the chief have to sign and there is another paramount chief has to sign the chief who oversee that chief like let's say if you take like a uh, uh, like Asante, for instance, if you buy a land, like let's say Bekwai, the the uh, the parliament chief that have to sign or the king have to sign is Asante, and you have to sign the final one before the land says it belongs to you. Otherwise, if you, somebody sell a land to you in Bekwai or that area and you say, oh, the land is for you, you going to the court, you did a document. No, the chief can take the land, but if the chief sign for you, that's it. So that is how you go to before the land be uh, uh, the, the the land becomes yours and another day, another day you can go ahead and register your company i'll come to that one too so people this how to where to buy land and when you buy land 
what you are supposed to use for. I know you are subscribing. I know you are sharing this video. I know you are liking the video because we are here to let you know more into the agri sector in Ghana about farming so that we can own our own businesses and continue. Not only everybody is about poultry, 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 poultry. No, there are more into farming in Ghana. We are more here. You know, my one of my strongest side is business. I'm here to give all to you so that you can own your own business and be the good entrepreneur that you want to become. So we meet next time. Continue to like and share. And I say, chase your dreams and money will follow you. Peace. Shalom.